Their resting member potential is negative 96 normals. Does this raise a red flag to you guys? Very low. Hmm, where's my resting member potential? What did I tell you with these guys once they hit negative 90? Potassium. Potassium equilibrium potential. And so the charge stops. Why are these guys different? They actually, um, the equilibrium potential is based on the ion concentrations inside and outside of the cells, and that dictates the equilibrium. And the resting voltage. So all these numbers that you memorize are sort of arbitrary. Because if somebody is really dehydrated, if they have a lot of water loss, but they have electrolytes, then this is going to shift. If they're losing electrolytes and they have a lot of water loss, this is going to be different. Okay. So the one thing with cardiac cells, um, you'll notice it's a little bit different for the action fields. So these guys are hyper excitable in a way because they go from negative 60 up to positive 10. Very narrow range, okay, they're already sort of positive in an essence inside those cells. They're going to be quick to produce active potential. These guys have a really low resting number potential. And the reason why they do this um, is so that as soon as they get those ions from the um, excitable cells, the pacemaker cells, bam, they contract, okay? Um, they're going to get the ions or the impulse from those pacemaker cells at gap junction. So all those ions, the calcium is rushing in, the sodium, that's all going to spread to the contractile cells through, excuse me, the gap junction. They're going to be polarized and contract. These guys have the long absolute refractory period. So take a look at these guys. They just sit there in resting membrane potential, negative 96 millivolts. Um, 